Four years ago, I was scrubbing toilets and cleaning dishes. Yesterday, I just picked up this Lamborghini that I paid for in cash. This video will tell you my story and how I was able to do this. Four years ago, I was working as a busboy at a local restaurant. I was probably making two to $3,000 a month. The only time I would actually end up making decent money would be when we were super busy, so I would receive a lot of money in tips. I would work overtime and on holidays because I was trying to literally make as much money as possible. I was still relatively young at this time and a lot of my friends were giving me shit for working a job. My mindset was, I don't care what they think, I need to make my own money so I can support myself. If you're a young person, I highly recommend getting a job just so you have something to do with your time other than mess around. It also teaches you the value of money and hard work. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you want to make money online. If you want to make money online, you are going to need to have some money to start with. While I was working this job, I was literally taking the remainder of every paycheck I made and putting it into my trading account. This was back in 2020, so this was right when Bitcoin started to become super popular. I was seeing a lot of people on the internet and some people that I knew personally making a lot of money with trading and with crypto. My grandfather taught me about the stock market when I was super, super young, so I always kind of had a foundational knowledge about how stocks work. Also, I've always been obsessed with patterns and systems. When I was a kid, I would always be taking apart toys to see how they worked. I was just very interested in cause and effect. Also, since a very young age, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. When I was 12, I was selling fidget spinners. When I was 14, I was drop shipping. I was flipping shoes when I was 16. I've always been doing something to make money. One of the biggest things I value in life is freedom. I love the ability to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. I've always hated people telling me what to do, whether it's my teachers, my coaches, my parents. I've always just kind of had the mindset of like, okay, you can tell me to do this, but that's not what I wanna do. I wanna do my own thing, and I don't wanna do what you're telling me to do. If you're a young person, I know you can relate to me because when you're young, Everybody is telling you to do stuff. Your friends are telling you to do something, your teachers are telling you to do something, your parents are telling you to do something. I hated this and I needed a way to create freedom and wealth for myself. So while I was working this job, I was highly focused on trading and learning about the markets. Like I said, this was during 2020, so crypto was just starting to get super popular. I decided that I was going to learn how to trade crypto. The coin I focused on was Litecoin. I ended up accumulating a pretty good stack of Litecoin and my average buy price was around $35. I was literally spending every single moment of my free time learning about trading and becoming a better trader. I was doing this by reading books, watching YouTube videos, and I was a part of a very good community. This community was on Discord and they would send pictures of their charts and they would send analysis for these different coins every single morning. This allowed me to see that people were actually making money trading, so it gave me a lot of confidence. It also gave me very crucial information because I was literally able to take the strategies that people were already using and just adapt them to what I was doing. Seeing this analysis every day was super helpful for me because I was able to take the analysis that they were doing on their coins and apply it to the coin I was looking at, which was Litecoin. This taught me a core principle. Surround yourself with winners and you are much more likely to win. They also taught me a ton of key information about the crypto space. One thing they taught me was the cycle of the altcoins. People in crypto have one goal, to make as much money as humanly possible. Whenever Bitcoin goes up, People will literally sell their Bitcoin, take their profits, and go buy altcoins. They're doing this because altcoins have a smaller market cap so they can go up more. Once I understood this pattern, I focused all my efforts into accumulating as much Litecoin as possible. I understood that there was a huge upside potential for Litecoin because if Bitcoin was able to go to 60, 70,000, Litecoin would also be able to move up a ton. I was right. Litecoin ended up going to over $400 and I was able to make enough money to quit my job and to start funding my own trading accounts. Initially, I started trading options. Options trading didn't really work for me because it was very complex in terms of how the options were priced. For example, with options, you have to deal with the Greeks and you have to deal with implied volatility. I also tried Forex trading and Forex trading didn't work for me. The main reason I think Forex trading wasn't a good fit for me because all of these Forex brokers were unregulated. So I didn't have any trust in them and I wouldn't really put that much money in them because I always was afraid that they were gonna steal my money. I then focused solely on trading futures and specifically ES futures. ES is a futures contract of the S&P 500. I love futures trading because it's very simple. If you can find 10 points in the futures market every single day, you will make money. It's not like options where you have all these other factors that are influencing the price. While I was learning futures, I was still in school. Initially, I started trading only on a practice account. I wasn't focused on making money immediately. I was focused on finding a process that would allow me to make money every single day. Eventually, I found the process. I realized that if I trade from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. every single morning, I am very likely to find a good trade between those hours. I also decided that I would be a scalper, meaning I'm only in trades for five to 10, maybe 15 minutes. This allowed me to do something that I really liked, make money quickly and then go on with the rest of my day. I've been trading futures successfully for a few years now. About six months ago, I decided to make an Instagram account and start sharing some of the information that I've learned over the years. This account completely blew up. 
I've wanted to create social media content my whole life, but to be completely honest with you, I was honestly scared of what people were gonna think if I just started talking on a camera. But I realized really quickly, if you have something to share that's valuable, people will listen and you will grow super fast. If you want a secret to growing on social media, here it is. Be extremely good at something. When you're extremely good at something, people can tell and they will follow you. If you're not good at something, people can also tell. As my social media started growing, so did my community. The sole focus of my community is to give people the education, resources, signals, and community needed to become a profitable trader. We do this by sending signals and analysis for futures, options, and crypto. I also do a live stream in the morning where I'm teaching people exactly what I'm looking for in the markets, and I even answer questions. We also have a full educational program inside of our community that members can go through and learn how to trade the right way. This community has been super helpful for me as a trader. Every single morning, I am accountable to thousands of people. I literally cannot afford to fuck up. This has improved my own trading ability because I am forced to be the best possible trader. Also, we have a lot of people in our community who are already profitable traders, so I'm able to talk with them, see what they're doing, and learn from them. The reason that rich people pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for golf club memberships is because they understand the principle that if you surround yourself with winners, you will win. Trading is all about information. If you have the right information, you will make good decisions. If you have the wrong information, you will make bad decisions. And if you don't have any information, then you won't make any decisions and you'll be stuck exactly where you are. There's been two main principles that have helped me along my trading journey. The first principle has been simplicity. Whenever I learn something, I make it as simple as possible so that I can learn from the ground up. This is why some people are able to join our community and go from beginner to advanced in only a few months. My strategy is very, very simple. So if you're somebody who doesn't know anything about trading, you can come in, learn it, and then start making money relatively quickly. Trading is purely a game of making good decisions. The reason most people are not able to make good decisions is because they have so much bad information. They have all these complex strategies and indicators so that when their brain looks at the chart, they're not able to make a clear decision on when they should buy and when they should sell. Whereas with my strategy, everything is systematic. So you look at it and you're able to make clear, confident decisions. Every single time I have had a struggle in my trading journey, it has been with my mindset. It's not been with my strategy. This has allowed me to strengthen my mind and learn a lot of key things about myself and how my brain works. The one thing I can promise you is that if you learn how to become a trader, you will become a lot better at managing your emotions. Trading is a game of making logical decisions. The reason most people lose is because they make emotional decisions. They're doing this because they don't have a good strategy and they don't have any confidence, so they just look at the chart and start randomly putting on trades. If you wanna make money, keep it simple. The second principle that has helped me reach this level of success has been my network. Since I started trading, I have put so much effort into surrounding myself with people who already know what they're doing. When I do this, I am able to learn 10 times faster because my brain is able to look at people who already know what they're doing and say, okay, this is how they're doing it. Now you can do it like this. Humans are tribal creatures. This means that we will do what the people around us do. If the people around you are fucking losers, you will be a loser. There's also a certain energy that winners carry with them. When you're around people who are winners, you can feel it. They hold each other accountable and they don't let people on their team fuck around and do stupid things. Whereas people who are losers do not have any accountability and they let their friends do stupid things. This is super important when you're young because when you're young, your decisions are heavily influenced by the people around you. And a lot of times you will do very stupid things purely because the people around you are doing stupid things. I have always made an effort to surround myself with people who are winning and people who are smarter than me. I always knew that if other people were able to buy their dream cars and live their dream life, then I would be able to do it as well. People would tell me that it's unrealistic to buy a Lambo or buy my dream car at a young age. I barely passed high school and I only went to college for a few months before I started trading full time. If I can do this, then so can you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon.